Welcome back to the show, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest is an actor and now novelist that you know from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, How I Met Your Mother, and The Muppets. Please welcome Jason Siegel. It's nice, to, it's nice to see you again. Nice it to was see you too. three, something like three years ago or something, the yeah. last time I saw you, back on the ago. old Colbert Report, yeah. back in the old days. That's right, for my first yeah. book. Yeah. How, have, how have you been in those last three years? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, and, good. And I moved to an orange grove. I heard this. Yeah. So, uh, what does that mean? You moved, yeah. like, that sounds like, are you a hermit now? No, you, no, no. You live in an orange There's a whole world. town of people. Uh, is there also... a home there, or do you just yes, frolic there's... among the trees? No, I kind of walk, I kind of walk around yeah. and think about what to do with the oranges. Yep. Like, how I met your marmalade, or something like that. Um, oh, that would so sell. Yeah, I know. That would so sell. Yeah, I just thought of that. The CBS would want their beak wet, but I that know. would so sell. I know, totally. I was up there, honestly, I did a movie a few years ago called The End of the Tour, where I played David Foster Wallace. Oh, no, no, I saw, I saw that. Yeah, oh, it, thanks. It was a brilliant performance. Well, thanks. Brilliant performance. Thanks. Typical character, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it was really scary, but uh, I, I rented this Orange Grove to read Infinite Jest, because, like, I'm not a great reader, and so I thought I shouldn't have a gazillion people around me. And, uh... Wait, you rented an Orange Grove to read a book? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I had, I had the How I Met Your Mother money. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's an extraordinary, that's a real Hollywood thing to yeah. have done. Yeah, and I was yeah. really, I was just like really happy there, and I decided mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay. So I never, I never went back. Wow, so it was rent to own. Yeah, yeah, I rent leased to it. Own. I essentially leased now, it. Are you, yeah. or do you live there alone? No, I have a, a wonderful girlfriend. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. But I'm yeah. happy for her and you. Yeah, we're both together. really happy. Yeah, she's yeah. the best. Sounds like a really great place to start a cult. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, now, no, no, I'm writing sci-fi novels as well, so it's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a little, a little Scientology there. Now, yeah. here's... Healthtronics. I call mine Healthtronics. Healthtronics? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, the, the thing is that you, you rented... Uh, I just want to go back. You rented an orange grove yeah. to, to read a book. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And... I didn't know how people... How you do this, the book reading. I knew... I knew... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, leased, I leased an avocado farm to do my taxes this past yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, you got to get away yeah. from it. You gotta, I don't know how the little people do it, but we yeah. just have to get away. I just can't be distracted. Yeah. Well, I used to think the reason you read a book was to say that you had read the book. But this time, I had to really understand so it. So not a big reader. Not a big reader. No, I do, I do more writing than I do reading. Yeah. But this is fascinating. So now you live on the orange farm that you rented to, 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 to read a book, and yeah. now you're writing books. Yeah. This is your fifth book, isn't it? Yeah, that's number five. OK. So um, now it's yeah. called Other World. Yeah. And Thanks. I, book writing is hard. It's really hard work. You know, yeah. what, what, why, why does this seem, is this harder or, or easier than being an actor, in your opinion? Well, my, <laughs> no one was ever knocking down my door to play Captain America. It's like not what my career was like. And so, know. yeah, know. I wrote a lot of those movies that I did. I wrote Forgetting Sarah Marshall when I was like 24. And yeah. uh, I, I wrote The Muppets with a friend of mine, Nick. And um, when I was working on The Muppets, oh, thanks. Thanks. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, when I was working on The Muppets, um, I want to say this correctly in case kids are watching, but uh, the, the Muppets are, they're puppets, you know? And, uh, the Muppets. Yeah. The Muppets. So uh, when kids would come to meet Kermit, a puppeteer is standing right there operating Kermit, but I noticed the kid just looks directly at Kermit. They don't see this puppeteer standing next to them. And I thought, oh man, kids like want to use their imagination. They want to believe. And uh, I wanted to start writing books for them because when you, when you read a book as a kid, you're doing half the work. Like I provide the words and then their imagination does the rest of the story. Because this is your first young adult novel. Yeah. YA, YA. Yeah. I'm what like, qualifies YA? What's that category? They're like, you know, I don't know, 16 and up, which I, I get really nervous around those kids because I felt inferior to them when I was 16 and continue to. Um, well, I, my children are all 16 and up and they're way smarter than I am. Yeah. I, I couldn't do their homework. I was uh, at a restaurant the other day, and um, the valet Parker came around. He's like a 16-year-old kid stepped out of the car, and I instantly was like, "Oh man, he's so much cooler than me." And uh, no, it's true. Like you know it came... what? I bet he thought so too. No, yeah, 
<laughs> well, that is the nature of 16 year olds. When they, I, yeah. How old are you? 30? I'm 37 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old man. Yeah, I look like his vice principal. And so I, uh, I wanted to like, I wanted to ingratiate myself as a kid, make him think I was cool too. And so I tried to make small talk. I was like, well, yeah, it looks like summer's over. Hey, bro. Did you actually say, hey, bro? Yeah. Wow. And he said, uh, he said, yeah, the brakes are on. And I, I didn't know what that meant. And so I was, I was Is that just a like, phrase? I guess I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> brakes are on. <laughs> brakes are on. They're on. And, uh, and then like I, the idea being that summer's the, over I, I, and therefore I the brakes are on. So, yeah. like all the fun brakes. Well, yeah. what happened then was I got in the car to drive away and the parking brake was on. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, the brakes were on. Literally, the brakes were on. Yeah, I've been, okay. I've been thinking about that interaction for like two weeks now. Because wow, I went tough. for it. The brakes are on. <laughs> You said Maybe it. Maybe we can get it started. Maybe you we can get it started. It. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want it to mean? Let's try to get it started. Okay. What does uh, it mean? The brakes are on, meaning like we've had a good time, but maybe now's the time to get down to work? Yeah, okay. Maybe the brakes are sure. on. Well, we can do that. I've also been trying to, uh, for a long time, when someone insults someone, trying to make a, ooh, you've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're my guest. Yeah. I'm not going to help you with that one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tell you when I want to return to sender. <laughs> I want to get this one started. My friend Paul and I have been trying to get this one started. Yeah. It's um, we're trying to get teens to use this term. Oh, uh, that's massive. Yeah. If something's really good, that like, that's massive. Like, yeah, that doesn't sound like an expression oh, as much man. as an adjective. Man, <laughs> do you like my suit? Man, oh, it's that's massive. massive. Right. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, breaks are on. <laughs> you know, a third, a third party right now should look at me and say, ooh, you've got mail. Oh, my God, totally. Right now, You can add that. You can we'll add that later. We'll that. We'll do it in post. It'll all be digital. Okay, so, no, so you've, been, you, you know, you've been a movie star. You've been a TV star. Yeah. Now you're a star. Of, like, like you're, the, the previous series like this has got, like, there are, like, five books in it. Yeah. For sure somebody's going to make a movie out of this stuff. What, what, what's it like to be, like, a book star, to be out there with, like, kids? Yeah. And, and, and adults, I assume, it's cool. at these readings. Like, it's funny you say that. Is it different that. than... Well, um, when you go to these readings, it's like, they're, it, honestly, it's like hundreds of people come because they don't care about the book, but they want to, like, the parents want to meet the guy from Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Um, and they, well, it's really a different crowd. And sometimes they make the mistake of doing, like, wine events before these kids' book events. And I just did Wait, one. So, like, they get you They, drunk? like, they get the parents, you know, they give oh. them some rosé. Yes. While the kids are supposed to ask me questions. And so the other day I went to one. This first six rows are kids and the rest are parents. And I come out with the book and I'm like, well, I think I'll start by reading a few pages of this book. And then a woman seven rows in goes, or you could just take that shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> it's an option. Yeah. It's an option. You know but, what was sad, by the way? What's that? Is I made eye contact with the woman's daughter. Oh, no. And, um... Oh, no. It, it, the look on her face was that she was not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, I know you, you don't have time to read the book here, but what is it about? Yeah. What's Other World about? Well, quickly, since we're running out of time, it's basically like if the kids from Freaks and Geeks got sucked into Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that's a quick pitch. That's a really quick pitch. Yeah. Did you play D and D? Uh, no, I played a game called Mist when I was young. Which... Sure, sure, I remember Mist and Riven and the yeah, yeah, oh my exactly. gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, I was terrible at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would just I would wander around, and that's sort of I mean, what the book is really about is what if a company like Amazon created a virtual world so seductive that nobody wanted to leave? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Can I keep this? Yeah, it's all yours. I'll sign all it right. for you. Jason, yeah. lovely to see you. Thank you. Otherworld is on sale now. Jason Siegel, everybody.